Hey, Blazer Tales. Oh, have I got such another good one for you today. This one is called The Call of the Wrens by Jenny L. Wash. Now, guys, I don't do many adult books. This is considered an adult book. Matter of fact, I think this is my very first adult book to do. But Jenny, Wal Jenny Walsh did a book called Over and Out, which is for middle school kids. And it, it was amazing. If you have not seen that one or read that one, check it out on my uh, Blazer Tail blogs. It is incredible. I loved Over and Out. So when her publisher reached out and asked me to do this one, I'm like, of course I will do it. Not knowing it was an adult book, but once I started, I could not put this down. So I'm like, yeah, maybe I will start getting into some few adult books because this one is amazing. This is about four different main people. Well, four, six. I don't know how you want to, if you want to go that way or not, but really four main people. The first um, couple is... Um, Marion and Eddie. Oh my gosh, Marion and Eddie's love story is just so amazing. Marion grew up in going from um, orphanage to orphanage. They had no clue what her birthday was, so they just gave her a birthday. They had no clue what her last name was, so they just gave her a last name. It was the hospital. Her last name was the hospital she was born in, um, or maybe found, born in or found. Anyway, um, she, the point is she had no family. She grew up in an orphanage. She didn't speak for 14 years and she went from place to place. And finally she got to St. Anne's and she finally felt like she was home. Um, they took her in, they gave her a job. She loved to type. She could, um, do things like that. And then that's where she met Eddie. Oh my goodness. Eddie is such a character. Um, her and Eddie became best friends. They were inseparable. They did everything together. He got her talking. Um, they found an old motorcycle one night. They brought it back. They hid it behind the bushes. They worked on it every night. This is where Marion learned to ride a motorcycle. But when Marion turned 18, she had to get out of the orphanage. And it almost killed her because this had almost become, this is the place she had been the longest for like almost four years. And it was like home to her. But because they were bringing more people, more kids in and she was 18, she had to get out. Well, Eddie was a year younger than her, supposedly. They really didn't know when Eddie was born either. Um, but so when Marion got, I hate to say kicked out, but when she got, had to leave, um, she found the, uh, there was a, there was a war um, going on and she decided to join the women's, let me make sure I get it right. Women's Royal Naval Service which is the Wrens. They ride motorcycles and they deliver messages during the war to people like on the front line and very important job, but it would give her security. It would give her a place to live. It would give her food. And so she joined up to become a Wren. Well, Eddie technically was not supposed to leave the orphanage yet, but he was not going to let her leave without him. So he went and, um, fit, well, I don't know if it would really be considered fibbing about his, when he was born, because nobody really knows when he was born. So he said he was 18 also, and he joined and it, up for the service for the war. They were put in the same place. Oh, her love story is so amazing. Then um, Sarah is, became one of um, Marion's best friends also. Sarah got sent to France. Then later Marion got sent to France. Now it was just a coincidence that she was there to help Sarah. Sarah helped raise and train pigeons to be carriers to carry very extremely important messages to the front line. And so Marion helped with that. And of course, Eddie got sent to France too. He made sure that he did not, she he was not left behind. Oh, their story is so amazing and so heartbreaking. Oh my goodness. I cried ugly tears, ugly tears in this book. Um, and then years later is when you meet Evelyn. Evelyn is, um, she was born to an extremely wealthy family. She had a very good upbringing. They adopted her. I don't think she knew that at the time. I'm not sure. I can't remember that. But anyway, the, uh, she was born with what's called like a clubbed foot. She had all kinds of surgeries growing up. Um, she... Uh, loved racing like she loved to race cars and her parents kind of tolerated it for a little while but they're like look you've got to find a husband and get married and become a mother and do what you're supposed to do because that's what women in today's society do they don't work outside the house they work in the house so 
she, they did allow her to go do her racing, which she loved, but they were very, um, they were on the edge of like, you've got to stop when another war started in France and which is where they live. And she was sick and tired of being under her mother's wing and being told that she had to find a husband and all this kind of stuff. So she sneaks away one day and she joins the Wrens. Now she has Percy. Percy is a longtime friend. He is a doctor. Percy is the first one who told her about the Wrens, not really dreaming that she would actually go and join it, but she takes, I hate to say steal, but she takes without him knowing his motorcycle she goes and joins up for the Women's Royal Navy Service. And um, she actually, even though she has known Percy her whole life, she falls in love with Percy, but Percy is not in love with her. Percy even has somebody else um, that he is dating. But when the war breaks out and Evelyn has to go to war, she has a tough time too because she has this girl named Rose. Rose does not like her because she is Rose has had to scrape and fight for everything she's ever had. And um, Evelyn's had everything handed to her on silver platter. So when they end up together, it's not pretty at first, but oh my goodness. And then the twist that is in this story between um, Evelyn and well, it's really Evelyn, but Evelyn and Percy and Marion and Eddie. Oh my goodness. Goodness, this book is so amazing. Do not miss The Call of the Rams by Jeannie L. Wash. It comes out in November. Uh, let me look. November the 15th. November the 15th. And you can win this. Um, this is an advanced reader copy of the book. You can win this before you can buy it. So go to blazertales.com and go sign up for this book. See you in the next one.